Hi everyone. Um, so I just received this in the mail and I'm so excited. Um, I've been waiting for this um, to come out and then I snagged it as soon as I could. So I wanted to open with it, open it with you all on camera and then um, also try them all out and then maybe come up with some lip combos. Um, this is the holiday um, lip kit from Sephora Favorites. Um, they put this together I think almost every year and it was released at around this time. Um, so I was just kind of like watching the website. And this year it is 45 US dollars um, for, I believe, um, seven, nope, it is one, two, three, yep, seven items, um, plus a bag as well, pretty decent sized bag. Um, I guess you can call it like eight items for $45, which, um, which I think is a pretty decent price, you know, six. 40-ish per item. That's kind of how I mentally break down the math. Um, and so, um, so I was like, yeah, 640 per item. And these are usually, uh, these are actually items I probably wouldn't pick up um, full size. And so I thought that this was a good way to try it out. Um, but let's open it up and see. So it is so new that it is still actually a so I'm going to cut this. Let's break into it. So it's a really pretty teal bag. I think that was also a draw for me. Um, and this is actually pretty big. I mean, it's much bigger than the items that I have. Like, the items only take up this part. Um, I don't have a great comparison for this, but maybe, like, a mascara um, or the... Oh, sorry, here, I'll take you to use this one. This is, like, the Urban Decay All-Nighter sample size. It's about... Just about yay tall. And then, you know, so pretty good size. I think you'd fit, like, a good... Um, like everyday makeup like this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here, I'm probably going to start with the order that I would apply them to my face. So there is two lip liners. Um, one is, looks like full size, one is a sample size or mini size. Uh, we have, I think only one lipstick from Pat McGrath. This is their trial size in Divine Rose. Uh, which I believe they actually have an entire kit based on Divine Rose out this year, so that's pretty exciting. And then, um, and then everything else is like these sheer gloss formulas from um, from these brands here. So I'll go through them one by one. But this I think drew my eye because it is a really um, I feel like it's really, really user friendly um, and there's not a ton of really intimidating colors. Like a lot of the lip kits in the past are like, you know, matte red <laughs> lipsticks um, or like just you know, really dark tones in there as well. You know, I just knew that immediately there would be tones in there that I wouldn't use versus um, as you can even see on my lips here, like I don't really gravitate towards really intense colors and um, something like the items in this kit are really, really approachable for someone like me. Um, I, would also, I would also say that this kit is a really good option for me because I don't actually have a very big lip collection. It's very curated to the things I like. And right now I'm in the mindset of trying to expand that. So this is a really, really good option for me. So let me go ahead and wipe off what I have now. Let me grab a, let me grab a wipe and we will do this together. So, um... We'll start with the we'll start with the lip liners and see how they look on my lips. Um, I apologize that I don't have the best lighting, but this is my real lighting, so <laughs> this is how I see myself every day. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have um, the classic Charlotte Tilbury lip cheek uh, lip cheat uh, lip liner in uh, Pillow Talk. Um, I have swatched this in the store, but I've never swatched it in person, so let's watch it together. It's kind of like a brownie pinky nude, probably more on the pink side. Um, I will say that as much as I'm Asian, I probably am in like the NC30, C3, C3.5 in the MAC um, coloring. Um, I am kind of more in the cool tone. My lips especially tend to lean cooler. Um, so I look better in like berries and things like that. So I'm excited that this could work for me. So let's give this a try. I mean, you can literally see it's like MLBB for me. <laughs> My lips look better. Um, 
maybe a little bit cooler tone than my lips, but really not by much. And especially if I'm going to be using this under something, it shouldn't make that big of a difference. Mm, I'm kind of new to lip liners, so I feel like all of them tend to be kind of drying, a little bit drying, uh, not super moisturizing, but they lend lips and they do what they're supposed to do. So let's try this actually uh, with a gloss and see how I like it. Um, let me let's try this one together patrick ta um this one is in is there a name on here so it just says two cc's so maybe that's a name um let me check the packaging so i just triple check so i don't have this wrong this is yeah the name is called two cc's um i really actually don't know the the meaning behind that so i'm going to look that up but um, I've heard that this one is a plumping gloss, so it might be kind of minty. We'll see if this is the right gloss to choose to try first. Ooh, it smells fruity. I would not expect that. Or cinnamony. Very fall. I like that. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm, oops, feels soft. That's really nice. Yeah, cinnamony smell is definitely there. Um, I don't feel the plump right away. I don't know if it's the lip liner is like a barrier to it. it kind of tastes like my lips actually. That's interesting. But really pretty gloss. Obviously very sheer. Very, very wearable. So I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. Let me go and wipe that off. Oh, I feel the tingle now. It's settling in. But I'll wipe it off before it gets full blown. <laughs> um, all right. Next one here is we'll do the other um, lip liner. This is Warm Brown from Huda Beauty in their Lip Contour 2.0. Um, probably, I'm assuming, will be brownier than the one before. Yeah, brownier and actually, I would say probably more pigmented. I don't know if it's because it's mm, like darker that it looks that way, but... Um, and this is the twist up, by the way. Um, I think the Charlotte Tilbury is going to be a sharpener. Yeah, classic, like sharpen pencil so let me go ahead and give this a try oh yeah you can really tell and this looks good too oh wow i definitely pressed too hard so uh this formula is a lot softer i would say than the charlotte tilbury good thing it's a twist up uh sad i already lost a little bit of product but let me be more gentle Yeah, I would say creamier. Creamier than Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I like this color. It's a little bit darker than I would usually go. Um, but I think that it would be a good option. Especially, I like to like adjust tones with lip liners and with dark glosses. And, you know, just depending on stuff. So I think this will be good to help adjust some, maybe something a little too light for me. And I think this one, the Tarte... Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Cherry Blossom is a little bit on the lighter side. Um, I can't remember if the if the original tube you have to like click up or not. Um, I know one of their packaging does but this one is just like a twist up and so you can twist it up and down. Um, let me swatch this to see. Oh, it just looks like a clear gloss to be honest. So. I don't think it'll be quote too light for me, but I think we'll pop this on top of this and see how it looks. Um, really smooth, really non-sticky. And that's nice on top of this lip liner. Definitely giving me good fall vibes here. So good stuff. All right, so two for two. I guess four for four. <laughs> we're trying things together all right and then um i really just have the lipstick left to go so let's try this one first divine rose um got this shade seems really popular and this is her matte formula yeah matte trans and it looks really matte it almost looks flocked you know like velvet uh which is really fascinating and i mean this is tiny <laughs> you can see my fitbit it like is not even the full screen also um really tiny but i use my lipsticks really slow so i think this will be you know for the fact that it's a trial and a sample i think that's good for what it is so let's uh see how this looks on my lips 
Oh, it's really soft for a matte lipstick. And I would say decently wearable for me. I could see this, especially with that Huda Beauty lip liner. Um, I could see that working really well for me just to kind of Yeah, I would wear that. That's good. I think that's like my main thing about these kits. It's like I want to make sure I'm able to wear everything. Um, it's if I if there's one or two things I can't wear, then I usually don't buy it, which kind of a which kind of sucks. But I feel like this is this is so far really really good for me. Um, alrighty, I think the last two are just these two glosses. So let's do the Rare Beauty one first. This is beautiful packaging, by the way. It's really nicely weighted. This is nearly neutral. And, um, ooh, look at that. I heard from someone else that this is definitely like a really weird, it's like a conical uh, lip applicator. Looks like there is um, kind of a flatter side on here, so I might just use that, but it's really not intuitive, so I guess you just kind of go for it. Um, oh, this one's really like silky smooth. Wow. I know I've been saying smooth for all of these, but this is like buttery. Wow, I'm also kind of new to glosses, so um, yeah, I'm really experiencing some like new formulas here. I feel like when I first started in makeup, it was just like everything sticky, your hair sticks to it. But now this is like like a new technology, like new generation, and like all these different types coming out. Anyways, all to say, again, very wearable, uh, really easy to put on the lips, uh, really works for for my lip color. All right, last but not least, um, this one's actually the one I'm most excited for. Um, I was thinking just a few days ago, I was like, I really want to start getting, trying kind of more red tone things because that's not something I typically wear. And um, I don't really know what the first step to step into it, um, but I think this will be a good option. It's the Glossier um, Red Rouge, just lip gloss. I don't have a special name for that. Wow, this is really tightly on here. All right. And this is like almost a bright red, if you can't tell. It's not like a tr true traditional red. So we'll see. I mean, it's a gloss. I really can't go wrong. And I think layered on top of something else that might be actually really nice. Um, I assume this will kind of, kind of just give me like more of a reddish tint. You honestly can't even see on camera. And this lighting is uh, unfortunately fluorescent lighting. Um, but... I, I think even if I stepped outside, you wouldn't be able to see much of a difference. Um, maybe on top of like a more ready lip color, it would maybe make more of a difference. Um, but I'm very happy with this foray into reds, I guess. Uh, it's barely any, <laughs> barely a dip, but maybe just like a splash. Um, but I think it's it's good for kind of where I'm at with, with how I use my lips, lip products. So anyways, all that to say, that is the whole collection. Um, oops, sorry, to move the camera. Um, that's the whole collection. Um, I am very excited to have these in my lip wardrobe and um, we'll be using these. So you'll probably see these in upcoming videos for me. Um, but again, if you use lip products similar to how I use them, um, I would definitely look into this kit and um, especially if you're someone who's wanting to try out some new formulas and things like that, I think this is a really good option. Um, this is worth it for me. I know for some other people who might already have products like this, um, it's nothing new, but for me, this is pretty new. So I would say that this is a really, really good deal for me. So um, have a wonderful, wonderful um, week. <laughs> and I know that all the holiday sets are coming out, so get, getting me into the holiday mindset. And so I'm already ready to say happy holidays and have a wonderful holiday season. We're not even to Halloween yet, which is crazy. Um, but have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.